take a look at this problem. We got uh, 4 plus square root of 3 times 1 minus square root of 5. Now we got two items here. Um, they're separated by a plus here and a minus here. I say items, one of them is a radical, one of them is a number. So we're going to take this uh, 4, take this number here, we'll multiply it times our 1 over here and times the square root of 5. I'm also going to take the square root of 3 and multiply it times a 1 and times the square root of 5. FOIL if you learned that method. So I got 4 times 1 plus 4 times negative square root of 5 plus square root of 3 times 1 and the square root of 3 times negative square root of 5. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times a negative square root of 5 is negative 4 square root of 5. Square root of 3 times 1 is square root of 3. And here a positive times a negative is negative. And square root of 3 times square root of 5 gives us square root of 3 times 5. Since they have the same index, we can put them underneath a single, single square root. Which gives us 4 minus 4 square root of 5 plus square root of 3 minus square root of 15. And that's our answer.